It's spooky time, it's time to get spooky. Ooh. It's time for creepy. It's time for crawly. Time for the Bubba Duke to come out and play. More importantly, it's time to draw some monsters. I love drawing monsters. I love drawing hot monsters. I had a phase where I drew like, like six monsters, all like hot teenagers. That was a lot of fun. If you know something about me, it's that I'm trying to learn how to paint. So I've been very inspired by Max Gregg's beautiful paintings lately. And I wanted to do a monster named Monsters using more like lighting, more rendered, more painterly, more realistic. So that's what we're gonna do today. And you might be wondering, Jackie, you love to dress up. Why is your costume? All your videos, you're wearing costume. Well, let's take it easy, okay? I haven't made it yet, but yes, of course, I'm going as Dennis from SpongeBob. I'm still prepping for Lightbox, which at the time of release of this video, it is literally, I am there. At the, at the Lightbox convention. So if you're in LA, come by, buy a book, say hi to me, check out my dentist costume. <laughs> so what monsters am I drawing today? Well, on my Patreon Discord, I have a challenge for this month. And of the four options, I like a vampire and a Frankenstein. It must be sad being Frankenstein's monster, not being able to achieve his goals, his monsteriness interfering with his happiness. If only he had today's sponsor, BetterHelp. Starting therapy is really hard. I think that finding the right therapist is like half the battle. You may not find the right one in your area, or maybe you just don't like the face-to-face -face interaction. But with BetterHelp, you can have your therapy on a video call, on phone call, or even via messaging, if that's what you're most comfortable with. To get started, you fill out a questionnaire and it helps assess your specific needs. And then you'll get matched with your therapist, in most cases within 48 hours or less. You'll be able to schedule therapy sessions at a time that's convenient for you. And you know what? No pressure if the therapist you're first match with doesn't feel like the right fit, which, you know, it happens when you start therapy, you can easily switch to a new therapist at no additional cost and without stressing about insurance. Over 4 million people have used BetterHelp to start living a healthier and happier life. You can go to betterhelp.com slash Jackie Drushko to get 10% off your very first month of therapy. So first things first, it is time to draw our vampire. And I start a lot of my sketches on Procreate because I'm sitting on the couch and I'm enjoying myself. I do not have the pressure of being at my computer desk. And I don't have the pressure of recording myself all the time if I don't know if I'm gonna make a good drawing. So this is a good step on how to relieve that pressure. So I draw a little sketch of a vampire and I'm sketching, I'm really blocking out the colors and the lighting to try to like help myself as much as I can. I bring it into Photoshop. I start blocking out the shapes because a lot of the times I have my sketch and then I start drawing right on top of the sketch. And that's a fun sketchy approach for a lot of different things. But when you're trying this more rendered approach, more realistic, clean approach, it's not gonna work that way. So I'm blocking out every single element of this character, the eyes, the teeth, the mouth, they're all in separate layers. So then I can get a very good look of what this is going to look like. And then adding all those little things in later that, yeah, I can do that later. <laughs> so at this point, I'm just getting the main shadows and trying to kind of see how this goes. I have kind of an indirect lighting and ambient lighting, kind of a direct lighting, but my rim light is gonna be off to the right. So I'm also paying attention of, to that while I'm doing this. And during this entire process of this painting, I have Max Grex paintings as references in front of me as well. And I'm looking at how he renders teeth, how his shapes work. Like a lot of his drawings are very monster-esque, which I love. So I have some like ideas of how he makes blood appear on faces of his monsters and stuff. It's just uh, very helpful to, to see his art. And this first one took about two hours to complete from start to finish. And the second one that I do, it takes about the same amount of time, but I feel like it's more detailed and it's better than the first. So like that's on learning and improving. I have always such trouble with eyes. I feel like eyes are so important in drawing. Like you want the eyes to look good because that's how your character is going to be believable or not or realistic or not. So getting the, the under eye is so hard for me because there is, it's so specific and you can make it look good. You can make it look so bad at just a click of a button. It's so easy to mess up. So here I am struggling. And another issue I'm having with, these, with this painting is that it looks very, how do I say, early 2000s digital art. And I feel like my shading maybe is too dark, like maybe I'm using too intense of values, but when I flick it in black and white, it looks good. So maybe I'm just not using enough textures. Maybe it's too like soft and pillow shaded. I don't know. 
I'm, I'm still trying to figure it out at this point. And I think it'd be a really cool thing to add some, to add like a white strand of hair. I'm thinking, I'm thinking Renezme. I'm thinking Twilight. I'm thinking child vampire demon monster. So I'm trying to give her this youthful kind of edge as well, make her cool. And I've always had trouble with hair. So I try to simplify the hair here and I try to make it work for like, for, for what it is using the least amount of brush strokes as possible. Also adding a little bit of fun bats to her outfit, trying to add some cool textures and lighting to make everything look like it's in a physical space with the shadows being used properly. Since I've been practicing portraits for this past year, I haven't really tackled clothing yet or even metal. I'm having trouble with earrings and in the next painting, I have a huge necklace and it's metal and I freak, it's hard. It's hard. Doing some final things like her bow and finishing the blood on her and the hands and stuff like that. She's fierce, she slays. She eats. Girl boss gate gatekeep. I think what I would like to do next time for the this piece is add more texture. Maybe I use a lot of gradients because it's easy. I think I need to stray away from that and try a different method. The rim light also adds a lot of fun, a little bit of a punch. I think it's fun. And then the a final touch that I did um, I think I did off camera, is I added red coming out of her eyes into her eyelashes. I think that's a fun little touch. It adds a little je ne sais quoi, and it looks cool. And this is the before and after with my sketch, and then the final, the final painting. So we love her little Renesme, and next we're going on to my favorite, the Frankenstein. So once again, I started on Procreate Low Stress to make a quick sketch of this Frankenstein, and I really wanted to go into really greens and still go with that portrait look. So the background is just like a wallpaper maybe, and then um, with a strong rim light, I think that's fun. Bring it into Photoshop. It's time to actually get started, starting with blocking out the silhouette, blocking out each layer. So the face is one layer, the neck and skin is one layer, the shirt is one layer, and then at the end, I also add hair as another layer. So starting off pretty simple, and because I learned from the last piece, I feel like this piece has a lot more direction, a lot more sooner in the process. You know, I know what I have to do, and I get her done. I really wanted the teeth to be this really nasty, dirty, like the show-stopping part of it. She, you know, you want to you wanna see all of the goo inside her mouth, and I think that the inside of the mouth actually looks pretty good for someone who barely does that, I think. <laughs> I'm a little more confident with the under eye. Like I said, it's always been a struggle for me, but because I did in the last one and, you know, I kind of, you know, blocked things out and then left it. And then I was like, oh, I'll come back for it later. I have it blocked out. Later, I came back and I was like, ah, that actually looks fine. Maybe I don't need to really change it. So that's kind of what I learned is that start blocking it out and come back to it later. And then maybe you'll find out that it's quite enough and you don't have to, you don't have to do that much more. I really wanted some sunken cheeks on her. I really like the hair texture. I think it works very well. I think it, it it's pretty graphic and it works for the piece herself. I still have that feeling as we keep going of this like early 2000s, like digital art where maybe the contrast is too much. Like I think maybe I have too many darks on top of too many lights and it's too smooth and that's what's giving it like that. I'm really not sure. Let me know what your thoughts is as to why I think it looks like that. <laughs> and I also had a lot of trouble with metal. Like she, I wanted her to be like decked out in metal and it just it looks, I don't know. It doesn't look like metal or it maybe it does, but it's not exactly what I want it to look like. Maybe I want it to look shinier and maybe that's, it didn't turn out that way. I had some saliva. I think that makes this piece. I think that's what gives this piece so much more energy and funness. Also like subtle shadows, I think also really help. Like where the saliva goes, you can see that there's a shadow being cast from the saliva on her chin. And I think that adds so much to it. It adds, so much more depth and volume. And I think that's really cool. I don't usually do that. For this chain, let me tell you about this chain. I did not even think of what the structure is. I was like, oh, it'll look like this. It'll be a big chunky chain. And I started going for it. I should have definitely tested it out first. You know, I did a sketch of what the chain should actually look like. Maybe even look up reference, dare I say. But I did not do that. 
because I'm lazy. But you know, you do something wrong and then you realize that you can't be lazy. So I actually go and I fix it later. And I think it looks better. It looks like it makes more sense. This one's kind of cool, but it doesn't make any sense. And then the face is mostly done just working on the shirt, the texture of the clothing. I'm really adding a lot of um, patch it, patchwork and some fun textures, like a very fuzzy patchwork sweater with like these huge staples or like whatever you call it, like things holding it together, stitches even. I was really frustrated with the necklace. That's where I left off last night. And I was just, I was mad. I, it didn't look good. So now I am actually blocking out this necklace, trying to have a little more structure, trying to understand what I'm looking at. And I think it turned out better. Who can say for sure? Let me know if you like chain one or chain two. After I figure out this necklace a little bit, adding some detail, um, the thing's starting to look better. She's giving. And in general, working on these shadows in the very end of this piece, like I don't catch it on camera, but there are some things that I add that makes the piece so much stronger. Like I add a thicker shadow underneath her necklace to make it actually look like it's sitting in this room with the light. I add some atmosphere in front of her hair and behind the earrings to separate the earrings from her hair a little bit because the white kind of adds, it kind of like meshes in a little bit too much. And I think the green rim light is so cool. And I'm like, damn, I should add lighting to more of my pieces. I'm just so scared of it. And I even add a little bit of red to her screen left of her face. And you can see it right here. And I think it's a lot more more stronger and it's a lot more cooler. And those are my two monsters. Let me know which one you like better. Team Vampire or Team Frankenstein? Team Renesme, Team Rigatoni, Team Butch Frankie. I learned a lot and I improved a lot and I think that's cool. I like that for myself. That's that's good. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed, you should because it's nice to do that and we're all just trying to be better people. <laughs> Share this video with 10 friends or 10 enemies or the Babadook will come for you. Thanks for watching this video and I'll catch you next time. Bye!